Thanks for tuning in to the official Elixir Divine YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Trace Minerals Ionic Magnesium um, supplement product. So we went to a natural food store because we were looking for a magnesium supplement and we decided to try this one uh, because it seems like it has good claims about it. Um, and well, when it said that it contains uh, something like 72 different trace minerals besides the magnesium and they're not listed on the bottle I was interested to find out more about it they do list obviously magnesium chloride sodium potassium sulfate and boron as um, what's inside but they also say they claim that there's additional minerals about 72 trace minerals so I started looking for information online about it. I went to their official website and you can check it out too. It's traceminerals.com forward slash FAQ. Okay, so it's the frequently asked questions. And here they actually list the trace minerals that they're talking about and they're using in their products. And the first mineral, so to speak, trace mineral which is a heavy metal actually that you see is aluminum that's right so when I saw that I was like uh oh red flag because I'm pretty health conscious and I know that aluminum is a heavy metal I know that aluminum you don't want in any amount in your body I know aluminum is linked to uh, cognitive dysfunction Alzheimer's disease and so forth that's why we don't have any aluminum in our deodorants and um, I know also that aluminum is used in uh, chemtrails. That's one of the ingredients, one of the heavy metals in uh, chemtrails because it's really light and it's, uh, it reflects the sunlight. So apparently they use it to spray the sky to reflect the sun to cool down the atmosphere uh, to fight global warming. But uh, anyway, aluminum is also toxic to plants. That's right. Soil that has a lot of aluminum in it will um, kill or it will make the plants sick okay so having that said aluminum okay uh, one thing that I definitely want to avoid actually I want to get rid of this in my body I just recently did a heavy metals test check out the other video for the heavy metals test that I did so um, and then they go on after this antimony third one arsenic I don't really know what antimony is but I do know arsenic is and most people know arsenic is toxic okay so another red flag next one fourth one barium okay that's another uh, toxic ingredient that you definitely want to avoid from my personal experience and research barium they also use it in uh, chemtrails and then they go on to list other uh, minerals here some of them I can't really pronounce beryllium bismuth boron bromide okay bromide another red flag because if you ever uh, know about food ingredients brominated um, brominated juices uh, it's pretty much banned in Europe okay because bromide is you something that you want to avoid cadmium is another one uh, that I would want to definitely avoid uh, calcium well calcium is good if it's uh, absorbed by the body right along with magnesium uh, carbonate cerium cesium okay cesium not sure about that one chloride chloride yeah okay your body needs probably some chloride but not too much uh, same stuff they put in the water so chromium yes they put in multivitamins so that's okay uh, copper well some people have copper overload it's another heavy metal and the body does need it in trace amounts but copper overload uh, can actually cause mental problems because copper can settle in your brain uh, it fights with zinc so it's it's I think it's better to have more zinc than copper um, and copper has been linked to certain mental disorders uh, like schizophrenia too much copper too much copper okay and then we keep going I don't even know what these are and then I see okay fluoride huge 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 red flag fluoride I've been using fluoride free toothpaste for decades now because fluoride is rat poison fluoride is um, you know 
it lowers the IQ. Lots of studies done on this. It settles in your bones, uh, cre possibly creating bone cancer. It uh, settles in your pineal gland, calcifying it. Uh, so, and the pineal gland is very important for your connection to the conscious world, to the world of truth, uh, to the overall experience. Pineal gland also does produce melatonin and serotonin, which are essential for uh, sleep as well as a uh, good feeling, feeling good, wellness. Um, so, fluoride. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, uh, not a good, not a good combination here. And then I keep going. Gadolinium, gallium, germanium, I don't know what those are, I know gold, yeah, well, gold, uh, yeah. there is some research saying that, you know, trace amounts of gold is actually good for your uh, nervous system because gold is a superconductor, and I know that for sure because in music, uh, gold-plated um, connections enhance, mu uh, en enhance the quality of signal, so gold plated a little bit of gold i suppose is not so bad and then some things i don't even know iodine is essential um okay phosphorus is essential in uh the right amounts platinum potassium potassium essential uh da -da -da -da. i don't know what presiodymium is or rhenium or rhodium i'm not sure about that one so you have a lot of stuff that are not really you wouldn't really see them in um, any kind of multivitamins um, you know but some stuff like selenium you know that that one's good um, silver people know about colloidal silver it's antibacterial antiviral antifungal uh, and trace amounts it's okay and too big of amounts it will turn your skin blue uh, sodium obviously essential in the right amounts. Strontium sulfate, da -da 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 -da. tallium, tellurium, terbium. Never even heard of a lot of these, but the ones that I have heard of, the ones that I mentioned that are red flags, I would just not take this product just due to the red flags because those are heavy metals um, and they're pretty poisonous. Uh, tin, titanium, well titanium is pretty inert, that's why I have titanium cookware. Uh, tungsten, vanadium, uh, da -da -da, yttrium, and zinc. Okay, so zinc is pretty crucial. Uh, you definitely want to have more zinc than little trace amounts because zinc is huge, 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 uh, very important. Um, mineral to have Beth, can you help and me? okay so after holmium i don't even know what that is or indium never heard of that we have iodine iodine is pretty crucial you definitely want to have enough good iodine in your system to prevent any kind of thyroid issues um iridium not so sure about that one um uh, going down the list here iron okay iron is crucial uh, you know in trace amounts um, for menstruating women because they lose a lot of iron through blood but for guys um, you got to watch out for iron overload if you get too much iron and if you're not bleeding all the time it can cause internal inflammation because um, iron is not excreted through your body unless you're bleeding so you have to be really careful um, and I'm talking about guys here if you're talking if you're taking iron supplements and you don't really have an iron deficiency I would really um, Look into the iron overload uh, My dad is one of these people because he was prescribed iron But you know I keep telling him but he doesn't want to listen and he keeps bleeding all the time from his nose And I think it's his body's reaction is to get rid of excess iron um, and it makes the uh, blood vessels um, less strong, yeah, it makes them weak. Um, lanthanum, never heard about that one, but lead, come on now. Um, I would not want to have lead in any trace amount whatsoever in my body um, because lead is known <laughs> to decrease people's IQ related to autism and all these um, mental 
degradations uh, lithium we'll talk about that one later lithium I don't know what that is magnesium okay so that's the one in the product magnesium yes magnesium is very very uh, important a lot of people like 80% or maybe even 90% of population are deficient in magnesium and you know it's um, very important because it's part of like 300 enzyme processes in your body and makes you it helps you feel calm relaxed helps you sleep easily it reduces any kind of muscle spasms so magnesium is the reason why I got this supplement okay so it makes sense that it's there manganese yes I've seen it in uh, good supplements too so in trace amounts it's 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 a good one it's pretty it's you, you gotta have manganese but when I see mercury okay folks mercury uh, most health conscious people know that mercury and no amount is good for you you want to avoid mercury you know like wildfire like you want to avoid it like lead aluminum um, because mercury is a neurotoxin it causes mental decline lowers your IQ if you have so-called silver fillings that's not silver folks that's mercury okay and that mercury is leaching into your system if you have those fillings as long as they're there it's it will be leaching mercury constantly into your body which can create very bad long-term health problems later on in life my wife actually she did have those uh, mercury fillings and she did have them removed uh, even though it's expensive cost her about two grand here in Hawaii um, but it's well worth it to avoid any kind of potential uh, serious health problems later on down the line okay mercury is same thing that they put in thermometers and that you know everybody is afraid of if it breaks same thing they put in vaccines is a huge one um, same thing that you have in large fish like shark and swordfish and tuna actually mercury in those fish has been increasing over time so you want to avoid uh, eating too much uh, big fish like that um, so mercury big no-no another big no-no okay molybdenum neodymium nickel nickel I'll talk about later about this one neobium osmium so these ones never even heard of palladium uh, palladium heard but I'm not sure that it's that necessary uh, strontium sulfate sulfur tantalum etc tellurium etc etc another thing that I didn't really like about um, all these trace minerals which are actually some of them are toxic heavy metals that I would avoid is the fact that when it says right here click here to download a certificate of analysis in PDF okay so which basically shows that they analyzed in a lab their products and it it's a summary of all the minerals verified to be in uh, the products so even though it says click here I'm trying to click you cannot click anywhere so that's unfortunate you know it's kind of like um, click here but it's not working and I really want to see it okay so it's kind of shady in this sense I was a little disappointed that I couldn't see the um, the official analysis but I suppose that all of these right here is uh, good enough the only thing that's different in the analysis it would actually show the amount of each of these um, trace minerals the other so-called trace minerals actually heavy metals that I noticed that I would stay away from is nickel okay nickel is one of them some people have allergy to nickel um, and then uh, lithium lithium you know uh, it is used as um, in chemtrails as well lithium it's used in batteries lithium batteries and it's also used as a um, 
psychotic medication medication for uh, people with mental problems so you know it's something that I would stay away from even if I had mental problems I wouldn't take lithium I would try other routes so having that said um, you know the taste I tasted I did one drop you're supposed to do four drops to get a hundred percent daily value of magnesium I did one drop so one fourth of that about 25 percent daily value um, and I diluted it with about one ounce or two ounces of water and I have to tell you it tastes really really uh, gross really strong really acidic I did t test the pH of this product as well with my pH strips and um, you know magnesium magnesium is supposed to be a uh, alkaline mineral okay so it's supposed to alkalize your body it's supposed to be alkaline but this product unfortunately came out very acidic on my pH strips so um, due to all these the combination of all these factors especially the unwanted um, you know heavy metals uh, considered trace metals by this company you know I will not I will have to return this product and I will not buy this product again um, instead I will look for something like um, you know probably capsule form something from pure encapsulations because they don't really put any kind of weird stuff in it uh, such as magnesium citrate because citrate magnesium citrate is also uh, absorbed well by the body um, and I will also try to eat just more greens more spinach uh, more things actually chocolate like good kind of dark chocolate and cacao um, contains large amounts of magnesium along with uh, Brazil nuts and other types of nuts they're good natural sources of magnesium uh, thanks for watching and till next time